Hello friends, myself Dhunil Pandit welcome you all to the world of Theonam, excellence to eminence. Friends, today we are going to discuss one of the very essential and important topic of mechanical engineering. Today we are going to learn and discuss about the concept of design, specifically design of jig. So first we will move towards the learning outcomes and then we'll look upon the case study. Now we will go through the learning outcomes. The learning outcomes are the first one concept and understanding of case study. Second selection of jig on the basis of component. So we'll go through the component and we'll try to evaluate which kind of jig is required. The next outcome is design of jig bush. Through different set of formula, we will try to do the design of jig bush. The next outcome is design of jig plate, which will include design of specific jig as well as locators. The next outcome will be design of clamping device, which specific kind of clamping device is required for a given data and the component. And the last outcome will be assembly of jig. We will try to assemble all the components and understand the design through the given data. Let's start with the first case study. The given data is 4 holes of 8 mm diameter are to be drilled in the component shown in figure. Design a suitable jig for it. Sketch the jig. Show its different elements with dimensions. So friends you can see the given data and the figure which provides and represent the component. The additional data which is available is the material is CI grade 20 and the quantity 80 numbers per batch. So we will try to evaluate and understand the size and shape of the component and after that we will determine which kind of jig we are going to design. From the component we can see that the size of the component is quite small. You can see the figure. The radius of the outermost periphery is only 70 mm. So the diameter is only 140 mm. So the size of the component is comparatively small. And it's as well as having flange in it. You can see the next view. There is a flange portion and web portion. We can see in the figure. There are four holes required to be drilled at equal distance and 8 mm diameter is the given data so four holes of 8 mm required to be drilled component is hollow from the center friends you can see the radius of the hollow portion is only 15 mm so the component is hollow from its center and because of that the component is comparatively much more lighter in the weight so the component it's having an added advantage component is small as well as lighter in the weight for the production of 80 numbers per batch you can see the content and the data we need to produce only 80 numbers of production unit per batch we are from the given evaluation data going to use template G here we are going to design template jig for the given component. So let's start with the design of template jig. So let's start with the design of jig bush. The first formula is inner diameter of bush which is 8 plus clearance. Why I am taking it? The D represents diameter of hole to be drilled in workpiece. That is given data. D is equal to 8 mm and here we are going to take clearance 0.025 mm. So the answer of inner diameter of bush is 8.025 mm. We can see in figure 2 the inner diameter of bush is 8.025 mm. The next formula for bush is body diameter of bush which is also known as the outermost diameter. The formula is 1.5 into diameter. And the answer is 12 mm. We can see even in figure the outermost diameter is 12 mm. The next is head diameter of bush. So here we are going to use specifically the headed bush. So the head diameter is equal to 2 into diameter. 
so answer is 16 mm we can see even in the figure the next is head thickness that is 0.625 mm into diameter and the answer is 5 mm so you can see the thickness of 5 mm for the given headed bush in the figure and the last formula length of bush so the total length of bush is equal to 2.5 into diameter and the answer is 20 mm so if we we'll observe the figure number 2 the all the dimensions are mentioned in the figure and here friends you can observe in the figure we have inserted or press fit the bush in the jig plate there are different types of bushes are available in the market so here we have used press fitted bush the material of bush is tool steel and designation of bush is a8 g7 20 we have already provided heat treatment to bush so we will use heat treated bush between 60 to 64 hrc that is a rock wall hardness and the quantity as we have to drill four holes here we are going to use four numbers of g bush let's start with the one more design now we will start with the design of template jig thickness of flange for template jig is equal to length of hole minus head thickness now from the design of jig bush we know that the length of hole is 20 mm and the head thickness of bush is 5 mm so the answer is 15 mm but now by adding swarf clearance of 3 mm the total thickness of flange for template jig is 18 mm the next formula is diameter of flange which is diameter of component plus allowance for clamping now from the given data we know that the diameter of component is 140 mm and the allowance which we will assume is 40 mm so the total diameter of flange is 180 mm the next is diameter of boss here boss is also works as locator or you can say locating pin internal diameter of web now again from the data we know that the internal diameter of web is 30 mm so for our data diameter of boss is 30 mm and the length of boss is equal to thickness of workpiece so from the data we know that the total thickness of workpiece is 30 mm so for our formula the length of boss is equal to 30 mm now some additional data i would like to share with you the four holes of 12 mm diameter going to be drilled on pcd that the pcd is 100 mm and the two holes of 10 mm diameter are required to be drilled for clamping purpose for clamping of knob here we are required to drill two holes material of plate is mild steel and the quantity is one so now we will move towards the design of clamping device and we'll try to learn the design of clamps friends standard size of clamping device is easily available in the market and the standard data is you can see on your screen and the minimum length which is one of the very essential formula for the clamping device here we are going to understand minimum length minimum length is equal to thickness of flange of workpiece plus thickness of flange of g friends here we are adding two different thickness thickness of flange for workpiece as well as thickness of flange for g so the answer is 33 mm you can even see in the figure the material is mild steel and the quantity of clamping device is two now friends here we are going to assemble all the components jig bush template jig as well as clamping device so in the next data we are going to assemble the different types of component now on your screen figure is showing jig assembly you can observe that two bushes are inserted in the jig plate clamping device is able to clamp the workpiece as well as jig plate the front view specifically sectional front view represents the upper portion of jig plate whereas the lower portion represents the component the component is hollow from its center so the solid part of boss is press fitted and inserted into that hollow portion so you can see Bosch is works as a locator in the given data the bush are inserted at the equal distance from its center on PCD of 100 mm 
that is a pitch circle diameter of 100 mm so friends this is the way how we can assemble all the components jig bush clamping device as well as template jig so for 80 numbers per badge template jig is one of the most economical content and suitable jig to design i hope this data will be very much helpful for you from student aspect as well as from the industrial aspect so this is how we can design template jig for more technical motivational and life management skills related videos keep in touch with dhyana thank you and have a great day